Hi, I'm Jonathan Charles. Welcome to Z Zero Touch Provisioning Part 2. Um, if you haven't seen Part 1, you should probably go watch that one because, well, it's Part 2. So it, it's like watching Avengers Endgame without watching any of the other movies. So we're going to talk about how to do, deploy those V-Edge devices using Zero Touch Provisioning, just like we did before, but we're going to go into a little bit more detail and some other steps involving some other features as well. Okay, And as, of, as I said, this is Part 2 of the Zero Touch Provisioning. So. Um, again, we're going to talk about adding those devices using a CSV file, uh, or you can add them manually. Because if you just get one device, pulling a CSV file in is probably more work than necessary. But if you're pulling in 100, the CSV file is definitely the way you're going to want to go. Um, and how to verify those, make sure they got added correctly. All right. So um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to import devices using a CSV file. And here's the format for you. All right. So. The UDI product ID, and I, you know, I don't know if you've seen this guy before. This basically is a, the UDI. We've been using, Cisco's been using this for licensing purposes for the past 10 years or so. Um, then we have a serial number, um, what our controller profile is, and just some description so we know what site it is. So let's say this serial number is going to uh, San Jose. We're going to put that one in San Jose, and we can mention it here so that it's labeled so we know, okay, we're doing San Jose, okay, it's this one. Um, then basically, we take that. We get this is the information we need. We can create the CSV file and add as many devices as we want. Okay. Um, now, just so you know, Cisco is going to have to contact a Cisco sales engineer um, to provide a serial number file, and uh, uh, which is going to be uploaded into vManage. And basically, to get that UDI, you basically do a show license UDI on the device, um, and then you can also get more information using a show crypto PKI certificate. Okay. The UDI is a combination of the device name and the serial number. Okay. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to add, go to uh, click the Devices tab, uh, and then we're going to choose Import uh, using a CSV and choose the file we want to import. Okay, and then it'll upload. Uh, you can also do a download of the sample CSV here so it'll have all the columns for you so you don't have to actually remember the format from the previous slide. Um, I know those are fun to do. Okay. Um, verify the imported devices are listed and click Next. Um, you're going to want to make sure that uh, this list matches what serial numbers you have on your bill of material, on your actual order, Cisco order, so that if there's a typo here, the device is not going to register. Um, and then basically click Submit. All right. Um, and then click Done. Uh, now, if you want to add devices manually, um, because you, you know, automation bothers you, and you think that this is perfect if you're adding one or two devices, and you don't feel like setting up the CSV, here's your other option. Uh, and basically, we enter exactly the same information. right? We're just doing it in a, um, an individual field, as opposed to doing it um, as a group, OK? Um, basically, we're, we need to identify the device to the system. Um, to do. And by the way, remember this product ID is exactly the same we're going to have the, uh, on the device. If you do a show ver on the device, down below the uh, actual version information where it has all the interfaces, you'll see this information there as well. Um, if you need a serial number off the device, you can also do a show inventory. And you'll get it, look for the chassis serial number. This is especially useful if you're not sitting in front of it. Okay. Um, this is a good way also to verify that you're actually configuring the device you really want to. Um, and once you've actually hit next, you'll actually have the option here of seeing some of that are provisioned, the green ones here. And the other ones are pending uh, redirection. So they're waiting for the device to actually uh, come back up into the system. Okay. And you can also download the CSV list and import it into, uh, uh, that. well, actually, once you're done, you're going to download this provisioning file, and then you're going to import this into vManage. Right? This is the device. So you need this device, these device lists in vManage so that you can assign you device templates to individual devices. And the only way to get that net device now is from this. Okay? Otherwise, you can also sync your smart account information directly from vManage, as long as the vManage has internet connect connectivity. Um, there are maybe some instances where the vManage may not itself have internet connectivity, but may allow all the, U the connections to it. So we may have all the UDP connections to allow vBond and vSmart to talk to it uh, and vEdge, but we may not allow it to just go out to the internet willy-nilly and browse. 
Okay. Um, I recommend that you do. We're going to see a lot more of this where Cisco's, uh, the server side of things, and other devices are going to be reaching out to Cisco's licensing system and other systems to download information and to get new licensing. So when, if you deploy a new feature, you deploy it via your smart account, the device would connect to the smart account and the feature would just appear on the device as opposed to having to um, start from scratch and having you transmit files from Cisco. Okay. So basically, uh, we turn on to the router. Uh, zero touch provisioning will start. Um, for on-prem, we're going to have to install a separate vBond. So we're going to have to have two vBonds for that, one for ZTP and one for uh, regular vBond services. And we need to have uh, uh, DHCP services. And we may have to have uh, specific uh, DNS entries so that we support a, uh, our local vBond. All right. Thank you very much. And that concludes the zero-touch provisioning.